Hello FM brothers and sisters, welcome to FM 2020. I really hope that you are well and that you are ready for a new episode of FM Tactics. In this video we are going to check my outstanding tactic, at least I think that it's outstanding. So let's check it. So as you see guys, my new tactics information 42211. I really think that I didn't make any tactic in this formation this year. I have used this tactic with Santa Clara in Portuguese League, then with Napoli, uh, with Munich in German Third League and also with Crystal Palace. With all these teams results were really fantastic, I'm really happy how this tactic works. In attack we have advanced forward, so advanced forward as always, he must be fast, uh, with great movement, finishing, dribbling also. Then we have attacking mythical, attacking duty, he's going to run an opponent box, so finishing is also important, passing and technical attributes with dribbling. Then two wingers, uh, speed is the most important, crossing, dribbling. Uh, then we have Segundo Volante, maybe the most important player in this tactic. Uh, he's in attacking duty, he's so he's going to run with the ball, he's going to run an opponent box. As I said, very important player in this tactic, so try to find one really good player for this role and this position. Then we, then we have DM support duty and we have two complete wing backs. I mean, it's really hard to find two complete wing backs. Uh, they need everything, they need crossing, they need dribbling, they need movement, they need stamina, so it's really hard to find really great players for these roles. Also, it's not easy to find two great ball playing defenders because they need passing, they need, they need technique, also they need to be good in defense. On the goal we have sweeper keeper support duty. Okay, now let's check team instructions. Tactic is with positive mentality where we are using passing to space, play out of defense, standard passing, so not direct, not short passing, uh, hard tempo. Then run the defense, work ball into box and mix your crosses. In transition, counter press counter and goalkeeper is going to take short kicks. Okay, then out of possession, using officer traps, uh, much car line of engagement, uh, like most of the great tactics, then hard defensive line, prevent short goalkeeper distribution and the extremely urgent, the highest possible. Okay, now I will show you all the results that I made with all these teams. Santa Clara is probably one of the worst teams in Portuguese Premier League, media prediction around 15th place and I won the league uh, in first season without signing any new players. Only three losers, this is really incredible season. 83 points, one more point than Porto. And now you're going to check best 11. Uh, as you see, Thiago Santana scored 17 goals. He's really good the target man, but he can play as advanced forward. He has nice speed, uh, not bad dribbling, finishing, uh, interesting player. He did really good. Also, we see that Costinha scored 13 goals. Playing as attacking mister, also not bad player, nice speed, nice dribbling. And Carlos Junior, a Brazilian winger, he was also great uh, in this tactic, he scored 12 goals. Ok, and now let's see team detail stats. This is not possession tactic, so this is why we had only 48% of possession. But uh, we scored the biggest number of goals in the league, 71 goals. Uh, two more goals than FC Porto, that's really great for Santa Clara. And also we created a lot of chances, we were second, Porto create uh, 97, we created uh, 92 ch clear cut chances, that's really nice for a team like Santa Clara. Ok, now I will show you my results with Napoli in Italian league. With Napoli also I had a really great season, only 3 losses, same as with Santa Clara. Then 9 draws and 26 wins, but as you see I didn't lose from some really big clubs, didn't lose any match from Juventus, from Milan, from Roma, uh, from Inter, I lost from Fiorentina, Atalanta and Bologna, 87 points. Ok, now let's check team detail stats. We didn't have possession, same as with Santa Clara, only 48%, but that's ok, as I said before, this is not possession tactic. Uh, uh, good thing is that we scored really big number of goals, I mean 70, uh, 76 goals for less than Juventus who was first place. This is Italian league so 76 goals is just fine. Ok, now let's see how many chances. Uh, uh, we create uh, 102 uh, clear cut chances, Juventus create 2 more chances than us. Ah, but this is just fine. Ok, and now it's time to show you my results with Crystal Palace. With Crystal Palace I won 7th place and I qualified for Euro Cup, I mean media prediction for Crystal Palace is around 15th place, it's not that great team. And I think this is really nice, uh, we had really nice results. Uh, now let's check best 11. 
We see that Jordan Ayew did the best thing, he scored 12 goals, he's great as advanced at 4 if, if you're asking me, fantastic dribbling, uh, really nice movement, nice speed, so this is really okay player for this role and position. Maximilian scored 7 goals as attacking midfielder, not bad player also. We see that Wilfred Zaha scored only 9 goals and that's not weird because Wilfred Zaha is a really incredible player but he's not the best for this tactic, special not uh, for this role on the right side. He needs to play closer to opponent goal if you want to get the best out of him. He's really classy winger or inside forward. Also, you can use him as advanced forward, yes. Okay, uh, now let's check team detail stats. With Crystal Palace, I had only 45% of possession, but that's okay. Now let's see how many goals did we score. Uh, we scored uh, 51 goals. This is not a big number, but I mean Crystal Palace is uh, not that strong team. And 7th uh, place in Premier League, uh, that's not bad. Okay, now let's see how many chances uh, we created. Ah, uh, we were fourth place with 99 chance. That's that's just fine. That's really good. We see that Liverpool, Manchester United, and Arsenal were in front of us, but we were in front of Manchester City, Tottenham, Leicester. So this is really good. Okay, uh, at the end I will show you my results uh, with Munich in the German Third League. And with Munich 1860, I had a really amazing season, 90 points, only 4 loses, uh, 6 draws and 28 wins. We see that Tawusu scored 18 goals, he is perfect for this tactic as advanced forward because he is extremely fast player. Pace 16, acceleration 13, also nice dribbling finishing for German 3rd league. This is why he, he did really fantastic. Uh, ok, uh, now let's check uh, best 11. We see that, except to Usu, we see that Fabian scored 10 goals, he was playing as a winger. Another player who is very, very fast, acceleration 15 and pace 15, also, also fantastic dribbling. And this is my opinion why he did so good. The other players were not so great, uh, except our central defender's team. Uh, he scored most of goals after corners, he's really good in the air, very strong. Ok, now let's check team details. I said at the beginning that this is not possession tactic, but the, with Munich uh, 1860 I had nice possession, 51%. Now let's see how many goals, uh, we scored 72 goals, second place, only 2 goals last than Barnes second team, this is nice. And now let's see how many chances did we create, uh, we, we had uh, 126 chances, this is really wow, fantastic really, 26 chances more than second team on this list, so tactic worked really good uh, with Munich uh, 1860. Ok, now let's see how this tactic looks on the pitch, let's see some goals. This is my match against Kaiserslautern which won 4-0 and this is our second goal, ball is at our winger, uh, Lex, he's passing back to complete wing back, that's Berzel, he's running with the ball, now he's giving a nice pass to our attacking midfielder in this match that was Gebhardt, uh, he's roaming a bit from position, he gets the ball on side somehow, he decides to cross to Owusu who is free in the box, uh, nice header by Owusu and score an easy goal. And this was my match against Rostock which won 3-0, our first goal. Ball is at uh, Bekiroglu who was playing his attack in midfielder. He gets the ball and we see that Tovusu who is our advanced forward, I said that he did really great. He's very fast for this league, that's very important. Also has nice movement, uh, he gets through ball from Bekiroglu. Uh, he's uh, 10 times faster than the opponent defenders and he's scoring an easy goal. Almost the same thing happened in the game against Duisburg, which won 4-1, and this is our first goal. Bekirogu has the ball, he's attacking with the, he runs with the ball, and we see that Tovusu again looking for a free space. His movement of the ball is 12, so that's uh, really great for a uh, German third league, and he's very fast. Uh, Bekiroglu with a really great pass to Tovusu, and Tovusu is scoring a really easy goal. Ok guys, uh, you should know that I will put download link of this tactic in the description of this video, so you will be able to download this tactic and of course I want to hear how is this tactic working for you. It's really interesting formation and you saw that the most important players for this tactic except the Segundo Volante are attacking with their and advanced forward. Attacking midfielder should have some nice passing skills, uh, advanced forward, movement, finishing and speed. And I'm sure that this tactic is going to work really great with your team. Anyway guys, if you like this kind of videos, then hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe. See you and bye bye.